Wouldn't you like to test your new condition monitoring device and software on a real pump under conditions of genuine bearing failure? We can do that here as part of the Living Lab program using our pump test rig. Here's an example that I looked at in my thesis. The pump we used is a Gould 3196 MTX centrifugal pump powered by a 1500 watt motor. It has two bearings in it, a 5309 and 6309 bearing, both measuring 100 millimeters for the outer diameter. Lubrication problems account for between 50 to 80 percent of bearing failures, so for my research we use bearings that had mixed grease in them. The temperature change for the mixed grease test showed that the thrust bearing, which had been packed with two different types of greases, rapidly rose in temperature in comparison to the radial bearing. The peak temperature after one hour of testing of the thrust bearing was 48 degrees as measured on the bearing casing. In this figure, in the heat map, we can see the temperature difference between the thrust and radial bearing at 30 minutes of testing. Lastly, in this figure, we can see the vibration signature of the thrust bearing measured using a piezoelectric accelerometer. Interestingly, over the course of testing, changes in signal could be seen, uh, particularly for the ball pass frequency inner and the ball pass frequency outer. Here at the Living Lab, we can generate the required signals to test accelerometers and also the post-processing systems needed to determine bearing failure. There is scope to do dirt pack bearing testing, mixed greases and no greases. The options are endless and we welcome chatting to you about what tests you might need done.